Hi there, today I'm going to show you how you can create your own set of eight notepads to send to a print shop to have printed. I'm going to show you this example just to give you an idea of how you would set it up. In my example, I'm pretending like I want to create eight notepads. This entire design is actually 11 by eight and a half inches. And then there's eight individual notepads within that document that are going to be printed and cut. If you'll notice here, I want my notepads to have adhesive on the left side. So that means that all the adhesive is going to go here. And on this side, it would go here. Now these are upside down because again, I want my adhesive on the left side. If I would have left them right side up, it would be backwards and the adhesive would be on the right side of the papers, which I do not want. So that's why these are upside down. So the adhesive is on the left side when you turn them right side up. When you log in with your CCSD21 Google account, you'll get access to Canva for Education, which will give you access to premium features versus using your personal email, which limits you to just those free features. So I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to go to this template link. I'm going to click Use Template. I wanted to log into Canva first, so then when I open the template, it will just open and save uh, automatically to my account. So this is what it looks like. Here at the top, it says, create your design in this rectangle, then copy and paste it to the others. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to zoom in down here. This will allow me to focus on one cell at a time, just to make it a little easier. So I'm going to zoom in with this. If I want to, I can use this text that's already here and just add my own words. Or on the left side, I can click on text and I could add any of these fun uh, designs right here. So let's pretend like this is my final design and I'm happy with it. Now I'm going to have to replicate it so that it can fit in the other cells too. So instead of me having to go back and redo what I just did for every single one of these cells, I can actually just copy and paste this. I'm going to click on one of my images and then I'm going to hold the shift key down. I'm going to click on the next image and the next image until everything is selected with those purple outlines. I'm going to click group. This way, if I move one thing, everything moves with it. I'm going to delete this example text. I'm going to click on all of my grouped images. I'm going to hit Control C on my keyboard to copy and Control V to paste. Now I can simply move this down and it'll already be the correct size I want. I'm going to keep doing that for all of these left um, cells and we'll worry about the upside down ones in just a second. All right, so now on the right side here, I need all of this, but upside down. So once again, I'm going to hold shift, and this time I'm going to click on every single one of these cells that I finished, and I'm going to group. The reason I'm doing this is because now, when I move this, it all moves together, and I don't have to select everything individually. So with this all selected, I'm going to hit Control C, Control V. I can get rid of this placeholder text here. We're going to actually turn this around. So I'll drag it over. Kind of position it so the black lines all show. And if I make sure it's selected here, you'll notice that there's a little swirly arrow next to all of these images. I use the swirly arrow to spin it around 180 degrees. And so that way everything matches and it's identical. 
The only difference is that on the right side, it's upside down. On the left side, it's right side up. Just to reiterate, this means that for my design, if I want my adhesive on the left side here, it will be printed on the correct side. When I turn these right side up, you'll see that the adhesive is also on the left hand side. Great, so if I'm all done, I'm going to go up here to share and I'm going to select download at the bottom. I'm going to choose PDF print. This will ensure my design turns out really high quality and not pixelated. I'm going to download. And now I can upload this file to the print shop portal and specify all of my preferences and make sure you're very detailed. Um, don't assume anything. Make sure if there's something specific you want, um, do write that in the notes so that we know about it. Now, when this design is printed in the print shop, these black lines will be the cut lines. And then once again, if I've indicated that I want the adhesive on the left-hand side, that's how it'll work and everything will be cut on these black lines and evenly spaced and look very professional when I'm all done.